very good afternoon to you from the St Mary's Stadium in Southampton. Both Saints make two changes to the side that lost to Cardiff. Hammond and De Ridder start. Schneidlin's on the bench. Connolly is injured. Holmes is in the 16. And Watford unbeaten away from home. Mate. One change from the team that beat Millwall in midweek. Former Pompey defender Carl Dickinson drops out. And David Murphy comes in for him at left back. The players shaking hands. The referee Carl Boyson awaits the start of the game. Fox goes ahead of Gooley, who's pulled wide out to the left. Skips past the first challenge of Yates. Then he comes inside Mariapa. Looks for a 1-2 with Alana. Gets it back in the penalty area in the six-yard box. And then rather clumsily between him and Murphy. They just sort of clashed with each other. And the ball ran through easily in the Watford goal for Rene Gilmartin, who we've hardly mentioned. That's how well Watford has started. 0-0. Well, it was a good little run from Gooley, a little one-two, and eventually it was just overplayed and uh, just falling over, making it too obvious. Referee wasn't going to fall for that. No. He, he can go down quite easily for a big lad, <laughs> shall we say. And then between Cork, Lalana, and Fox, they clear up to halfway. And Taylor is himself is almost caught out by Ricky Lambert. Now, suddenly, Derrida's making the space up on the right. Here comes Derrida at pace towards the penalty area. Just gets the ball caught in his feet. Aims for Lambert at the back post. He heads the ball up, and the goalkeeper comes out and catches it. And the referee's given a penalty. Handball, he said. Referee Carl Boyson has given it a long look, and he suddenly called for the handball against David Murpin climbing in the air with Ricky Lambert at the back post no arguments to the referee Saints have a penalty and this could be the boost they need and Sean Dyche will feel he's had no luck whatsoever well they're going absolutely mad down in that technical area for Watford but uh, those fans behind the goal they're way too far away from for me to actually have seen that one Adam it was so close but uh, the referee was right on the spot he waited he took his time and they put his arm in the air pointed to his arm and he's given the penalty now we've got to stick it away and I must say that's against the run of play as well Ricky Lambert on his 100th league appearance for Southampton can celebrate by smashing them into the lead Lambert from the spot scores his ninth goal of the season it's his 58th goal for Southampton and his 100th league appearance and Saints have the lead against Watford they might be having it against the runner play at home but it is Southampton 1 Watford 0 well I'll tell you what if you want a lesson in how to take a penalty that's exactly it he took his time he stepped up right foot banged it to the goalkeeper's right hit with force hit with pace absolutely no chance well Ricky Lambert is a massive cult hero at Southampton, no doubt about it. And Gooley will try and stretch the game and bring it away for St. Paul, busting a cut on the right, as is Richardson. De Ridder's now trying to get to the right, Gooley goes towards De Ridder, he's pushed him towards the byline, he's got the pace to get there, and he's got help behind him from Richardson. Now can he deliver again with his right foot from the byline, crosses towards the back post, there's a shirt being tugged there, that's a penalty! Ricky Lambert wins another penalty from the back post. That's the third time in two home games. And Saints could double their lead here. Dave Merrington, how did you see that? Well, for, me, for me, that was a penalty, Adam. A clear sight of that one. There has gone down the right. He's whipped it in. As Lambert's pulling away, uh, the Watford player has barged into him. I think it probably uh, was uh, Mariapa. Mariapa. And uh, as he's pushed into his chest, he's knocked them over. They've both gone over. And for me, it's a penalty. Yeah. You know, he's impeded him. So this is the opportunity we were talking about. We're, we're in uh, nine minutes into this, uh, into this second half. We talked about trying to get an edge in that first 15 minutes. This is the one we want. This can uh, make it 2-0. Let's just see if he can put it away. Ricky if he hits Lambert. it as well as the first one, it'll be brilliant. Ricky Lambert aiming to get double figures for the season. 55th minute of the game. Can he double Saints lead at the same time? The crowd thinks so. Lambert steps up. Take two. Goal two. And Southampton have doubled their money against Watford. It's Saints two. Watford nil. 10 minutes into the second half. And Ricky Lambert has 10 goals for the season as we head into the second international break. Well, if, if you want a guy 
to be in your team when you get a penalty it's Ricky Lambert he's lethal on that right side the last person I saw strike a ball as well as that you know was Alan Shearer and uh, the one before him who stands out for me was a, an old player called Frank Puskas a Hungarian what a left foot he had Lambert has got a wonderful right foot but boy he hammers them on BBC Radio Solent, of course, and it's West Ham at home the Tuesday after. What a doubleheader that is before going to Reading. It doesn't get any easier. Lalana, 20 yards out on the right, twists and turns onto his left foot, gets it into Gooley, tries to get the shot away, places it beautifully. Oh, Gooley do Prado, calm as you like, just looked up 12 yards out, picked his spot, they didn't shut him down, and he just slid it past. Gil Martin, it's his fourth of the season. Saints are home and hosed at home again. It's 3 0. Well, that was an excellent goal, but it was great work from Molana in the 18 yard box. Great quick feet, he turned. They were frightened to tackle him, and all of a sudden, he saw Gooley unselfish. He played him. Gooley, quick movement of the feet, whipped it round the goalkeeper's left and in. A terrific goal. Good combination work from Gooley and Lolana. Well, now everyone can really relax, Dave. 20 minutes to go, 3 0. It's cigar time, isn't it? Slippers on. Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, they're really on top now. And uh, it's it's all about keeping possession now and keep looking for the fourth one. Yeah. Scored some goals here, haven't they, as well. Four against Birmingham, three against Leeds. Uh, Poivet lifts it forward. Now Chaplow's made one of those angle runs. He's got it behind the defender, Murphy. Volleys onto the post and back out again. He is so unlucky, Richard Chaplow. It's the second time Saints have hit the woodwork. Two good volleys. And Chaplow is very unfortunate as Iwalumo isn't fouled, says the referee. It looked like Ponte dragged him down. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a Juicy the Cat run. He's got to cross the back four, real pussycat style. Uh, the defender didn't know. I think it was uh, uh, a Murphy. Murphy yeah. He's got in behind him. He's took it off him. And he's just nicked the ball past the goalkeeper. It's hit the far post and come out. I mean, how unlucky can you get? But for me, excellent running, great finishing, and uh, very, very unfortunate. Yeah. Sure. But that's what he's capable of doing, Adam, when he comes off that right side. Saints playing it around here. There's a party atmosphere at St Mary's now. And a lovely ball from Schneidlin pinged onto the chest of Holmes. Holmes will attack the penalty area. 20 yards out. Low shot, he scored! Lee Holmes in his first league appearance for nearly a year has scored with about his second touch back. And Saints have fallen up against Watford. Drifted onto his left foot and hit it sweetly past the outstretched hand of Rene Gilmartin. Southampton 4, Watford 0. What a moment for Lee Holmes. Well, that'll be a real shot in the arm for him because I think that's what the boy needs. He's gone down the right, he's cutting off the left onto his left side and he's whipped that ball across the face of the goal. Goalkeeper's gone down, he's gone inside the, the side netting of the far post and that will be a real boost to his confidence. So... Uh, really and for the squad you just talked about using your squad Dave well to bring Holmes on and for him to then score fantastic for Saints another confidence boost remember well, it was, go on Dave it was a good piece of play Adam I mean the boys he's gone down he's pretended to go down the right he's took in he's cut across uh, onto the 18 yard line the opportunity arose he saw the whites of the sticks and he's just hit it yeah, and it's a good goal it was good stuff